Hi, I'm David Levithan, a publisher and editorial director here at Scholastic, and I'm so excited to be kicking off the YA portion of our preview. Uh, there's so many amazing authors you're about to hear from, but before they go, I get to talk about some of the books that I'm excited about um, coming to you this spring. First, um, we start with Alice Oseman um, and Solitaire. I am so excited this book is finally going to be out in the US. Solitaire is the story of Tori Spring, um, a rather just worked up um, student who, who really doesn't want to have anything to do with love or really anybody else around her. Um, but then a mysterious group called Solitaire starts sending her messages via a blog. And she has to sort of understand what's going on and how it intersects with some new people in her life. Now, if Tori sounds familiar to you, it's because she is. Um, she is the sister of Charlie Spring from Heartstopper. And yes, Charlie and Nick are characters in this book. So if you loved Heartstopper, or if you just love YA fiction, you're gonna love Solitaire. Another wonderful author, Sayantani Dasgupta, is back with Rosewood, a midsummer meet cute. And again, it's just a delight to read about the, the trials and tribulations and travails, romantic and comic, going on around a show that sounds like a certain Regency drama on Netflix. Um, it's really fun. You get some great behind the scenes stuff, but really it is all about a classic love story well told. Another nice twist on a classic love story is Love Letters to Joy by Melissa C where Melissa takes the Cyrano story and puts it through an amazing, amazing lens of queerness um, and talking about disability. It is just a wonderful story about somebody who's very good at love fronting for somebody who's not and the romance that may or may not follow. And then finally, on a different, different note, um, if you, when your romance is, is fulfilled and you wanna actually be scared by what's going on in the world, we have At the Speed of Lies by Cindy Otis. It is a book about basically misinformation and how just misinformation on social media and in the internet can just roil a community, and in this case, a high school, and about one girl who is trying to find the truth amidst all the lies. It is deeply compelling and deeply chilling because it does talk about how the sources of our information are not always reliable, and how easily we are to be manipulated and how we have to be very, very strong in fighting that. All right, so enough from me. Now I'm excited to let the authors talk about their book. 